Are you ready to dive into the world's most bizarre and unusual foods? Strap yourselves in because we're about to embark on a culinary adventure that'll leave you speechless. Join us as we explore the globe, tasting some of the most unique dishes that will challenge your taste buds and maybe even your courage. From Southeast Asia's stinkiest fruit to a live octopus that fights back in Korea, we're serving up a wild menu. All right, you bunch of travelers, our first stop is Southeast Asia, and we're kicking things off with the king of fruits, the durian. This thing's got more spikes than a hedgehog in a punk band. And the smell? Let's just say it's an acquired taste. We're talking about an aroma that could knock a buzzard off a manure wagon. Will our brave tasters be charmed by its creamy texture or run for the hills? Get ready to gag because this is durian. Next up, we're jetting off to Indonesia, where we're about to experience the world's most expensive coffee, Kopi Luwak. Now, before you get all snooty about your triple shot caramel macchiatos, this coffee's got a secret ingredient, civet poop. These little critters, called Asian palm civets, gobble down coffee cherries, digest the beans, and then, well, nature takes its course. Will it be love at first sip, or will we be left with a bad taste in our mouths? Time to find out. Hold your noses, everyone, because we're heading to China to sample a dish that's not for the faint of heart stinky tofu. This stuff's got a reputation that precedes it. It's pungent, it's powerful, and some might even say it smells like feet. They say the stinkier, the better, so we're about to test that theory. We're diving headfirst into the world of fermented tofu, complete with a symphony of dipping sauces. Listen up, you adventurers. Our next stop is Thailand, where we're about to face a true test of bravery fried crickets. That's right, those chirping little critters you hear at night. We're about to eat them. Don't worry, they're seasoned to perfection with a blend of spices that'll make your taste buds sing. Let's find out if these protein-packed snacks are a culinary masterpiece or a recipe for disaster. Bugs on a plate, coming right up. Hold on to your stomachs, folks, because things are about to get really wild. We're in the Philippines, home of the balut, a fertilized duck egg with a partially developed embryo inside. Yeah, you heard me right. This is not for the squeamish. It's crunchy, it's chewy, and it's got a face. Will our adventurers rise to the challenge and conquer the balu, or will they crack under pressure? Get ready for the ultimate test of gastronomic guts. G'day mates. We're heading down under to Australia, where we're about to meet some of the locals which Eddie grubs. These juicy little fellas are a staple food for Aboriginal Australians and are said to taste like a cross between chicken and nuts. Will we be saying crikey in delight or disgust? Let's dig in and find out. All right, food lovers, get your spice tolerance ready because we're off to India for a dish that's sure to blow your mind. Brain curry, it's creamy, it's spicy, and it's not for the faint of heart. Will we be able to handle the texture and the taste? Time to get our curry on. Get ready for a culinary showdown in South Korea, because we're about to tackle Sanakji Live Octopus Tentacles. This dish is not for the faint of heart, as these suckers are still wriggling on the plate when they're served. Seasoned with sesame oil and chilies, it's a true test of your chopstick skills and your ability to handle a meal that fights back. Will we be able to conquer the suction and swallow these slippery suckers down? This is one Korean delicacy that's sure to get your adrenaline pumping. Next up, we're venturing into the heart of Cambodia, where we're facing our eight-legged fears with a plate of fried tarantulas. These creepy crawlies are a popular street food in this part of the world, and they're said to taste like a cross between crab and chicken. We're talking crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside, and seasoned to perfection. Will we be brave enough to take a bite, or will we run for the hills? It's time to face our fears and find out. We're finishing our culinary journey in Japan, the land of the rising sun, where we're about to feast our eyes on a truly unique delicacy, tuna eyeballs. These gelatinous orbs are considered a delicacy in some parts of Japan, and they're said to have a mild, fishy flavor. Will we be singing their praises or spitting them out? Let's pop these bad boys in and find out if they're an acquired taste or a culinary abomination. Well, that was a wild ride. Whether you're intrigued or grossed out, 
You've got to admit, these dishes are a testament to the diverse culinary adventures our world has to offer. If you enjoyed this roller coaster of a food journey, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel for more insane eats, and let us know in the comments which dish you'd be brave enough to try. Until next time, happy eating you lot.